Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for attending our session today. Uh, my name is Francois. I work as sales manager at Fujifilm Middle East, FZE. Today, I will be giving you a small brief about the future of the corporate world. Uh, if you want, end of the session, I will be keeping around 20 to 30 minutes for the questions. And of course, in case time was running, uh, you still can send me by email or send it to the university or questions, and I will get back to you within this week. Okay. Is, is everyone able to see my screen? Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. In this uh, presentation, we'll go briefly about firm, about what is the organization, what is the difference between a firm and an organization? What is the corporation? The corporation human resource, their workflow, the technology, what are the software and their impact on the business? Upcoming ways, what's new, what are the new trends? Business overview during the pandemic with their new direction, the future in corporate companies, mainly the AI, artificial intelligence, upcoming changes in business, along with the impact of COVID-19 and the impact of AI on us as a human. What is a firm? The firm is a profit basis company which participate mainly in selling goods or as a service provider to the consumer or the client who are us. A firm is a business as a business organization, such as corporation, or a partnership with different level of legal protection. This is according to Investopedia. The firm itself has many guidelines that give its protection and create the She's entire- Guys, please mute your mic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The organization is a complex social system created by people, individuals, to cooperate in the achievement of some goals. So all these people will have one certain goal and they will work together to reach it. And this team itself, it's called an organization. Firm and organization, what distinguishes them between each other are basically the firm use different or far different basic type of research resource to have their final activities or their goal. They focus more on natural resources, capital, human resources, and entrepreneurship. As corporation, it's a simply a form of organizations that has a existence independent of its owner. Corporation have powers of liability separate and distinct from those of its owner. They can be organized by for many purpose and come in many types. We will not enter too much in these types. These types are a different topic, which will take much more longer, but the corporate st structure is not appropriate for every business. It is made for some specific business and they are highly, the corporate itself is highly governed and regulated and taxed highly. We will have a small brief after a couple of slides, where compared to other type of organization, the corporation is much more higher and much more complicated. The human resources in the corporation are much more wider. They need much more resource to complete the job. And especially in international businesses, we have more traditional jobs, less traditional jobs, more unique jobs and other type of jobs to complete the entire structure of the company. Going to a tra traditional job, which most of you might know it, we need financial analysts to keep the financial assets and the financial direction of the company stable, not to have loss and generate profit. We need sales and marketing management, which comes into multiple teams or multiple individual to complete the task. One will be focusing more on the sales and generate income to the company and the marketing will more focus on the awareness of the product, service or the company itself. 
and we have finally the business operations specialist. In parallel of them today, we used to know about the HR. Today, the HR trend is changing and it's becoming more about a HR business partner to create the entire regulation, the entire system, the entire human management of the company to complete the job. Less traditional jobs in more higher international company, they need an economist, consultant, a business reporter, who will be sending his reports under daily, weekly, and monthly basis. And finally, a business consultant to give more consultancy about the future overview. We have more unique job, which goes even on a higher types of corporation, which are the budget analysis, the foreign exchange consultant, especially today, the trend of the exchange is playing a lot from a country to another. We can see a lot of countries globally today does not have a fix or a stable currency. Today, the consultant will help more the team how they can work on their pricing to match local price, especially if a company is handling international business. And finally, we have the other jobs which are always required, which is the financial manager with the accountant under the admin or corporate manager who will be playing or managing the roles of both. These structures will form the internal workflow of the company and the external, all of us know it, which is the sales or the strengths of the company inside the market. But going to the internally, all these jobs are the team and they still need assets. The team and the assets will have lot of tasks to do to complete the sales, which are travel, mobility, lot of meetings, owning facilities, increasing the cost and increasing assets of the company from advanced technology, advanced laptop, advanced mobiles. All of these are tools to be used to achieve the sales and or the service deliverance if the corporation is focusing on service in order to get profit. At the end, any type of business care about the final, which is the profit. But a corporation today is considered much more expensive than a normal company. The corporation first require much more human resource in small company. They wouldn't have been having sales manager and marketing manager and a business development. In small company, they might hire someone who can handle, in general, the three jobs into one person. The corporation require higher cost to complete the job because they have to follow more ethics, more guidelines. They have more social responsibility, more activities, higher salaries, higher medical coverage to the team. And of course, including travels, the mobility, already a travel, each trip will cost much more than spending normal transportation in local country and the profits are taxed twice especially the corporation must pay income tax and shareholder must pay also another income tax tax at the same income if they receive a dividend payout which we call it double taxation so here will increase always the this cost and at the end if the company care about the profit they want as much as possible reduce the overhead to reduce the cost and to increase their profit. Today, the change of the technology always influence the corporate companies with changes. These technology or the head of this company will head home this technology check, which is more suitable for the company in order to increase the sales, reduce the cost, generate always higher profit. And today with most of the international business, the companies are focusing more on challenging the time. Time today, it is, it costs money. Today, if one task will need 10 people, each person will spend five minutes to complete his task, which we are talking 50 minutes of time usage to complete the final transaction, which can be the sales or a service provider. 
With technology today, we have multiple brands providing multiple aspects and multiple services. We can start from the hardware, which is today, everything is based on IT equipment or PC mobile. We have also many brands today providing the electronic or digital platform or digital software, you can call it in any way you wish, to complete or to be the tool to be used on these devices. And also today we have a lot of companies who are trying to provide additional services, like for example, today in any product delivery, we care about logistics. You have a lot of companies such as DHL, RMX, FedEx, providing also these logistic as service and all over they are included under a technology because today the shipment or you as a company hiring such logistics, you are tracking them digitally. With this technology, today companies can invest, the investment will be higher than any type of investment, but at the end, the company can first achieve a reduction of time and less stress workload. Today, instead of spending time to fill a document with the machine, you can fill a document within a second. It can reduce your stress to spend hours writing using papers, and the writing is much more slower than typing on a machine. Today with the technology, it can give you a faster communication, which easily you can send an email instead of sending with the traditional ways a courier sent by post until it goes from the country, it lent to the destination and it's delivered. And today with the technology, you have all your actions centralized. As much as you, even as a student, and if some of you is working already, Today with your mobile or the combination of your mobile and the laptop, you can immediately communicate with someone using a WhatsApp as a quick text message, having a small meeting over Skype or Teams, and in the same time archiving every single email or document you want into <clears throat> your archive. And here it's called the centralized actions. Also with the machine and the time reduction, and spending less time to fill paperwork, which today are digitally, with this thing, it can increase the profit and give a higher performance to the company itself that you are working for. What are the upcoming ways? Today, we have a third party service providers, like I was mentioning in the beginning of my presentation. These third party providers can provide you or save your cost of hiring logistic teams like they can do the house delivery, office delivery, they can provide the consumer wherever he wants to get his delivery on time, instead of open, waste time, increase vehicles, have hiring much more delivery team, logistics and logistic manager to complete this type of delivery. We have today also third party software which will take place of archiving department. These also are giving a positive impact on the company cost instead of your company or any co traditional, all traditional company who used to archive needs a large room with much shelves and much documentation, tools and leaves to, to archive these documents because today your strength is how much data you have and it will cost trend space management by humans. I have a doubt. Today, the archive or the digital archive can take much more, much more less space, can be shared with multiple people and can be back up on small devices. Today also, what is taking place or the future, which are the magazines, digital advertisement will start to take place of these magazines year after year the amount of prints are reducing. Majority of global magazines are shifting to digital platforms. Uh, if you have some question, you can unmute and ask me normally uh, without re-unmuting, if possible. 
also a meeting which will save you much more time instead of walking up, getting yourself ready, take your car, being stuck in the traffic to reach on a person, the cloud meeting or the digital meetings, which today are becoming much more popular, are taking place than human meetings. And one of the examples is today our session. We are sitting on a digital meeting instead of having a physical one. Also, these digital meetings, with time, they will be shifted or they started to cloud meeting where this meeting can be recorded over the cloud instead of each one record the session and immediately you can log back to check what was the minutes of this meeting or to watch out this meeting. With using those aspects today, the office spaces will start to reduce time after time Today, you don't need a big desk to work. Today, with your laptop, it's enough for you to carry it wherever you are. You can start to work in a coffee shop or at your home. If you have a small desk space in your home, this will start to reduce the physical space of the companies and big companies will remove their headquarters. Already some major global companies already announced the closure of majority of their offices and their team will start to work remotely. And with time also, we have the new shopping experience, which is the e-commerce. E-commerce, it started like more than 15 years, but with time, the e-commerce is under development by delivering much more advanced shopping experience. Today, you can start to see that some big malls in the world are shifting even to a digital mall where you don't have to take your car, go spend hours driving until you reach the store. You can go with using some technology to check, visit a digital shop, which is the same shop that you can find them physically, pick your things, you can see them into 3D or 360 degrees. You select whatever you want, you place it. Also, there are some coffee shops who started the development of a e-commerce coffee shop where two of you as a friends can go to this platform, sit and meet with each other remotely, and the coffee shop will charge you a small amount, of course, without giving you this coffee, but just to give you this private room. About a business overview during the pandemic. Pandemic changed a lot of things, especially if we go back to some studies According to GFK, which they released the latest report about the impact of the businesses on the pandemic, today the majority in store or the offline stores who don't have digital has witnessed a huge sales drop down due to the lockdown to the non-easy mobility between a city to another or street to another, the businesses globally went down to these traditional stores. And the main point was lack of walking customer. The big, the, their businesses were focusing more into manpower. They cannot even have a digital logistic system to deliver to a client and which reflected negatively. If you as a client cannot walk into a store and the store cannot walk in to deliver you in home, this affected negatively the business. Some businesses even had a drop down up to 70 and 80% loss. But what was positive was the online shopping. And within three to four months between the global lockdown by country, the online shopping sh showed a double increase of the customers. Means before the lockdown, the amount of people who had a account to buy online, doubled by in the terms of, of quantity. Also, we can see that there was increase of mobile apps, especially mobile app who started to provide more services from medical treatment, pharmaceutical, groceries. You can also know that we found a lot of new apps that are ready to go do the grocery on your behalf and bring you back your grocery at home increase of online purchase via mobile app, even the normal traditional e-commerce that to go 
using a web browser drop down more people likes the mobile app because it's easy to be carried by hand also there was a huge increase of the it equipment mainly laptop followed by desktops smart tablet and also recently you can see the innovation inside these smart tablets and the mobile phone also on the other hand since majority of the people were locked in their flats there was a high demand on the mobile or let's say the webcams in order to attend these digital conference digital catch-up digital meetings and in the same time all these points had showed a higher increase on the demand and the download of some main digital meeting platforms such like skype microsoft teams or zoom zoom already increased the demand had higher demand since the pandemic and most of the companies used it because it was lighter it does not need a high performance device or a high internet bandwidth and it became much more popular compared to the others these facts today can show that with the pandemic the future the slides which was i talked about it before showed that the direction is going more to a digital direction or more into a technology direction where the physical work or the physical meeting or the physical job has becoming having less demands as new direction today all of us we hear about a new normality or new functions new opportunities new trends these had been the four words where most of us are using it between talking between each other or in terms of business but what are at the end these new normalities today after the lockdown it proved that a human person uh, cannot be as much effective as a machine but a human a machine can have a non-stop today we have the most important technology which had been used or familiar or majority of you had been hearing it which is the ai ai which is the artificial intelligence ai had been available since good quite time in the market but not too much popular in terms of consumer market ai had been used mainly in medical for diagnosis because today the machine can have more quicker analysis had been used more into education lot of platform today are giving exams based on ai or educational program based on ai where a machine can replace a teacher teach some notions or aspect also it's available when you are using any software and you click the head button or it will give you the error like you can always have it in the microsoft excel if you do a small issue with your equation it will pop up on the side that assists you to fix your error this is type of ai partial production counting on automation large industries or large factories had been using ai since good quite time and mainly the ai is used or to assemble things where it does not require a human to do it or mainly to do a test a lot of electronics today if each device produced needs hours to be tested means it needs a lot of human to test the ai is able to do this test and in the same time to work on testing multiple machines in the same time also for advanced facility there are a lot of advanced facility from the security system eye scanners where we'll scan your eye print to make sure you are the person some advanced logistics companies have also ai with one command it will send some robots to pick the goods and prepare it for the shipments security systems and customer support in advanced high-tech companies today you can notice the customer support using ai is available and mainly in the uae which helps you it's available in most of the government facility like if you have diwa do etisalat 
you have the first uh, inquiry, you can speak with the AI and the AI can assist you quickly. One machine can serve a limited amount of people in the same time. Why to rely today on AI? First, as I said, the human might be tired or we as a human can sometimes do mistakes. These mistakes, it doesn't mean we are less skilled, but these mistakes can, be, can happen because we are human. The AI has no assumption what is tuned, programmed, it will work on, has less mistakes. We cannot say zero mistakes because at the end, the AI is, will learn from us as a human. Once we do our scripts to program it, at the end, the human can sometimes do a small mistake. That's why we will always say less mistake as of today. The AI does not need a break. For us, at least each hour of two, while we are working or studying, we need a small break. AI doesn't need. It can work for days, hours, years, weeks without stop. AI can do also multitask. As I mentioned, like in some production, one human can only test one machine, but one AI can test more than two, three, four, five thousand machines. It depends on the capacity and the performance. These technology today are not the new normalities like we are always hearing. They had been available, but this pandemic, instead of making them take their time, speed up these changes. But you can go back, you can do some research when you have time. You will find that these technology had been available since more than 10 years, and they are made to be planned prepared for a future development, for future jobs, for future availability of new opportunities. Just this pandemic made them, made them run faster than expected and to start to implement them since today. In the same time, people can start to get used to these functions, can start to get used to these smart devices that will be available to help us and to work with us. And at the end, with a lot of studies, it proved that majority of the companies who already started to implement these AI had or witnessed a much more higher growth and much more stability during the pandemic. Even their loss was too smaller compared to other companies who did not even implement a technology. Going to some questions, we always can hear it from movies, articles, or critics by people, which are what are advantage of an AI. AI today, the first thing, which is the most important, can reduce the wasted time. As I started in my presentation, today majority of large corporate companies, they care or they challenge the time in order to reduce time and increase the workflow, increase the tasks, and increase the profitability of the company. Machine today can handle heavy computing tasks where these currently requires a much more amount of manpower. If you go back to the quick structure that I was showing you about corporate companies, you can see in international business, it needs a lot of stuff to do to complete one job. Today, with the assistance of the machine, the machine can reduce the stress work of this stuff to complete the job faster and have more time to proceed with another job. AI can handle the full process of online shopping and preparing the order acknowledgement for outsourcing logistic company. In some developed large corporate companies who has also an online shopping, you can see that most of your shopping experience won't be based with a human as much as the online shopping is based on the AI. How you can know it, once you place your order, immediately you are receiving your tracking number and your invoice with your order confirmation. Also, with the AI, it can complete by allocating these goods 
and send all the details to a third party logistic company, like taking example, Aramax, DHL, FedEx, and much more others. And this company will simply just collect and deliver you the goods in the following day. And these also, you can have it as better results if you go back like 20 years ago in the online shopping, it used to take a week up to one month until you receive your order. Even sometimes it's used just to be shipped locally. Today you can place an order or collect it in the same day or maximum within a period of 48 hours. AI today is partially used as alternative of humans for customer support. Like I was talking, large service provider today, instead of having a human customer support to start from scratch with you, the conversation, they are focusing more into AI to start the conversation and it will reduce your waiting time in the queue until the operator will be free. The AI at least can collect the initial data, can do some troubleshooting, like today some, most of the home services can be troubleshooted remotely via AI. And in case it didn't work, the AI will transfer you to the operator. Some jobs will disappear, of course, with the AI, or will, or will be reduced. But in the same time, of course, some new job will appear. With having much more amount of technology, certainly, certainly we will need much more human resource to produce and develop and teach this technology. And of course, in the future, much more opportunity for such fields will be available. Today, to learn these skills are still narrow. Not all the universities can teach, but with time, and today when we are talking with time, there is no more a far future. Technology is challenging time, means in a near future, we'll start to witness these things. But talking about if this job will disappear, we will have one question with, will AI be replacing us as a human, which majority of the people has this concern? The answer is simply no. AI will never replace us because we made as a human the AI, but the AI will give us much more opportunity for us as a human to reduce the wasted time. And instead of focusing on things that needs a lot of mental or physical effort, it will give us much more room to focus on our education as a human, increase our skills and go from a job of production to a job of creativity. Today, the main challenge in majority of the businesses is the creativity. You can, we can go to any type of industry, starting by car. Today, we have hundreds of type of brands of cars. At the end, each car has four wheels, four tires, and each car can take you to a place. Today, the winners are companies who has much more creativity even talking about mobile, about laptop, about furniture, about assets. These, instead of losing time and keeping the same trend in the company, today the AI will take this job and let us as a human being be more creative, have much more time to do our researches, increase our skills, increase our education. And today the education is the most, the most important part to continue and to find the jobs. Maybe years ago, you could have find job without your certificate or without being completing your schools. But today, the more your education is higher, the more you are accepted. And you can see that even some type of certificate today are just a paper or a paper passport to let you go to a higher career. AI will create more opportunity also for human to invest and diagnose new things. And also we believe that with a lot of studies, like I was reading an article about international labor organization, where today there are around 5.7 billion of the world population who are working or active. The rest are between elderly people who are jobless or still kids, student, and baby born. From these, we have 
11% who are contributing as family worker, 53% wage and salaried people, and 34% own account holder means they are business owners. With the AI and technology and the demographic inside these statistics, we still can see there are 7% extremely poor people. 7% over 5.7 billion means we are talking about at least at least 350 to 400 million person from these workers still poor. Why? Because there is demand still on this type and these people will run to money instead of education. Once the AI will take this part, it will push indirectly all the segment of people to complete their education to get what everyone of us is looking for, which is the income or the revenue or if a business owner will look more for profit. These are basically a small, simple or overview. I would like to have your questions. We can have much more time to ask as much as you want and I will be ready to answer your and to assist you. You can also unmute. I missed the few beginnings because I didn't uh, come early. Uh, what is the difference between the firm and organizing uh, and, and a corporation? Okay, I will reshare it with you. Yeah. Okay, this this slide, yes. Yeah, this one. Okay. And also, uh, and also, like the the beginning, the few beginning, uh, the beginnings, like what what is a firm and what is a corporate. Okay, uh, this presentation, I would be if you want, uh, I would be sharing it with the university, and they can okay. send it back. And you okay. can send an email, and I will give you full details. But in general, the firm and the organization are what distinguish firm from organization is the aim to get the profit through selling a product or a service. So we have multiple types of organization, but they are divided into two ways. Most of the organization are, are into selling a product or to provide a service. Even if they are nonprofit organizations, they still are working to provide a service. Okay, okay so what's the firm? The firm used four different basic type of resource to complete it. It needs natural resource, it needs capital, it needs human resource, and it needs entrepreneurship. So the firm is the entire firm of inside this organization. And okay. if you go back to this slide, yeah, yeah. The profit basis company, which so as I talked, both, both they will have they are selling a goods or a service. But the firm is a business organization such as a corporation, means the corporate company itself. It's not a normal or a organization or a small. Okay, thank you. Most welcome. Okay, so uh, in case you need any question, I will share with you. Uh, or you can share them with the university and the university will send me back this question and I will write them down all for you. And also you will receive a soft copy of the presentation and later on, whatever inquiry or assistance I can, you can address by email directly also to me and I will be happy to get back to you. Thank you guys for your time and thank you for attending today. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.